In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload Loom videos to Google Drive. This is going to be a quick and easy tutorial. So first you need to go to loom.com and once you're on Loom, you'll then see all of your videos. If you don't see them, just go ahead and go to my library and then you'll see all your videos, right? So you want to choose the video you want to upload to Google Drive, then hover over it and click on these three dots here, click on them. And then you want to go ahead and download that video. So go to download and then you can see here it's downloading that video. Now it might take a while for the video to download depending on how big the file is. So I'll be back once the video is downloaded. Okay, so now you can see we've got that video downloaded and we can find that obviously in our downloads folder. So now what we need to do is go ahead and go to Google Drive. So search on Google for Google Drive, click on this link here and it will then take you to Google Drive. Then you can obviously click go to Drive. Then you'll be inside your Google Drive and now all you need to do is upload that file. So now go to new, then go ahead and go and click on file upload. Then you just need to go ahead and find the file in your downloads folder. So here is my file and you can see it's the mp4 file the video i just downloaded then click open i've already uploaded this once so i'm just going to click on keep both files and then click upload that's going to then upload in the bottom right hand corner your video okay so once that video has been uploaded you want to then be able to share it with other people so right click on it and then go share click on share again and then you can either choose if this file is going to be restricted or if you want to give anyone with the link access to this file. Once you've clicked on anyone with the link, you can then copy your link and then anyone that has that link will be able to view your video. So let's paste in the link here and you can see it now shows the video. And you can see the video is still processing, but after it's processed, people will be able to see the video. That's how you do it. I hope that helped you out.